right, so this 2005 Furby's name is Mary Lou. She is a marshmallow Furby, and today we are going to be... Thank you! <laughs> We're going to be replacing her blue eyes with green eyes, so this is a tutorial on how to skin a Furby and how to replace the eyes. Don't twinkle, be twinkle, little star, <laughs> blue na unai bo, up above me, home so high, kae kue lo me da, twinkle, twinkle, little star, blue na unai bo. Thank you very much. I'll also be replacing her broken beak, since it's kind of scuffed up. So let me just switch her off so we don't have to deal with that and we will begin with the tutorial. If I may, I must take out her batteries before I can begin skinning her. All right, let's begin. I'll start by using my little triangle bit, I wonder if you can see that, to undo her safety screws on her feet. Let me see, it's kind of an awkward position. I'm not hurting her tickle sensor with my um, elbow being on it. I'm being very gentle with that. I don't want to put my full weight on it. I'm going to put all her feet stuff in this cup so that I don't lose it. I'll be putting it back on later. Not in this video, just later. If you already know how to skin a Furby, you can skip ahead to whatever time it says in the description. And that's where I'll be actually swapping out her eyes, so go ahead and do that if you don't want to watch. After that, the tops of the feet should just pop right off. If I can get this last screw out. There we go. And off pop her feet. Put that in the cup too. There's still two more screws, but you won't need your special safety bit. I believe mine is either, um, I'm probably wrong. Either mine is 12 millimeter or 15 millimeter triangle safety bit. I'll post that later too, hopefully. I'm not quite sure. Take that off. I'll be needing this later. Put that in the cup. Get the other one. see where is my desk is totally cluttered <laughs> all right so now the feet are taken off you're gonna need to undo these little straps back here I've already pulled up one you just pull them up and off to the side no need to break anything now we're gonna go up the back make sure she's doing well no problem the anesthetic is holding now, we got to, where am I? There it is. You're going to need a seam ripper as well. Little blue seam ripper. Doesn't have to be blue, but you know what I mean. We're going to take it up the back, and we're going to cut the seam holding the fur together. This may take a while. Be careful not to cut the fabric surrounding the, um, the seams. It's hard to see. Is 
I'm expecting that. There's one. Little safety thing seems to be stuck. There we go. Oops. That'll be okay. Alright. Seam is just coming undone, so there we go. Alright, now that the feet and the seam are out of the way, I might have to cut a little bit more. We're gonna be skinning the Furby. Just be careful, it might bite you. Pull that all up. Ooh, there's the skin. There's the real skin. That's what it looks like underneath. Got to be quick about this so that I don't bend the plastic of the ears. Do not cut this cord. See that? Don't cut the cord that moves the ear. You need to cut what it's attached to underneath the ear. So don't cut that cord. Whoa. Let me see. Where is it? Right there. A little seam holding the ear in place. Being careful. There we go. The ear has been freed. Next ear. I forgot to mention that the insides of the Furby are made out of polystyrene plastic instead of polypropylene. So that means that the plastic is extremely brittle, so you need to be really careful with these Furbies. It's very annoying. Okay, it's both the ears free. We're going to get this last little bit where that hair tuft moves. Big old thick thread. Let's see if I can, yep, there we go. All right, the last thing that I'm gonna need to cut off is the brow, right where it, this is the part that shows the expression of the brow. Okay, I'm gonna cut those off and I'm gonna mark it. That bit there is gonna be a bit difficult for me to find later, so I'm gonna see if I can mark it with pencil. Perfect, and it won't stain through. So now I can get my second mug and take off the faceplate screws. I'm wearing a headlamp. I don't know if you noticed that weird spotlight. It's not really helpful right now, is it? Okay. And the Furby is still stuck, so there are two pieces of plastic holding that in, which I just popped off. And the final thing, you can just peel, kind of peel, pull it off, because there's a screw right in the middle, keeping the last of the fur on. So that is what she looks like. I think I'll replace her beak after I replace her eyes and put her skin back on, because that'll be easier for me. But that's what she looks like without her skin on, so I'm going to put that to the side. Excuse my arm. Okay. Let me see. Now for the shell. There should be six screws holding it in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Be very careful with the plastic, like I said. It takes one good yank to get the screws loose. Making that snapping noise. It isn't breaking the plastic, it's just the screws coming loose. Though I wouldn't put it past the plastic to break. It's really annoying. Let me see. There it is. Ah. Okay. Two more screws, and then we can get on with the eyes. Huzzah.
I'm hoping nothing breaks during this tutorial. That would be very sad. Okay, gently pull the Furby's face off. Wait, no, not the face. You, you guys know what I mean. I don't really. Okay, so now you can see the face. We've exposed it. There are going to be four screws and two pieces that you can need to take off right out the bat. One here, two, three, on the other side, four, right there. So I'm going to start on this side. Try to be careful not to break the plastic. Oh, well, looks like I gotta pick that up later. Three. Four, check it, four, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna pull the pieces loose. Do you see the screw? Okay. So on the other side, you can see it right there, this piece. I'm gonna take that off, be very gentle. Pull that up and off right next to the other one. And now we can begin by taking this off. So first we're gonna have to unhook the eyelids, which is a little bit difficult. You're gonna have to push down the thing holding the eyelids in place. Ta-da! And then the eyelids should come right off. Creepy, huh? What you looking at? And now comes the fiddly crap. I'm gonna break things apart. So, with the eyes, there are two little bits of plastic of metal running through plastic that hold the eyes in place. I do not like this bit. We have to take the eyes out and replace them. So, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna go to the bottom of that little thing holding the eye in place and you're going to want to push that up. So let's see if I can do this. I really don't want to break anything. Even if I do break something, it'll probably be okay. 